Okay, now that we've drawn our oil and water separately, let's combine them together and see what they look like together. I hope you've made your predictions before we get going. Here we go. Here's my water and here's my oil. First, I'm going to pour my water into my container. Then I'm going to pour my oil into my container. I'm going to turn the lid on and I'm going to give it a little bit of a shake. How many of you can already see a line forming in there? Not sure if the water and the oil like each other very much because they do seem to be separating. I'm gonna take a separate picture of that so you can draw what that looks like. Take a close up. The next two liquids we're going to be mixing together are water and dish soap. So we'll start by putting the water into our container and then we'll have to pour the dish soap into our container. Now the dish soap has a higher viscosity so it takes longer to pour, it's a lot slower, very slow in fact. And we're still waiting. enough. We'll turn the lid on really tight. This is what it looks like before I shake it up. You can see the water sitting on top and because the viscosity, the density of the soap is higher, it's sunk to the bottom. It's got more weight. We'll see what happens when I shake it up. How many of you have done dishes at home and realize things change when water and dish soap get mixed together really well. Now, take a close look at that. The first thing you can see is definitely the color of the dish soap has completely changed the color of the water. And of course we have a whole lot of bubbling action on the top there because we're dealing with soap. So I'm going to give this a minute and I'm going to take a picture of it for you guys to take a re make a really good drawing of what it looks like to mix those two together. So the last two liquids we're going to be mixing together are water and syrup, kind of syrup you put on your pancakes. I'm going to start by putting the water into the container. And of course the viscosity and density of the syrup is higher than the water, so it'll take a little longer to get it into the same container. And I don't think I'm gonna be as patient with this as I was with the soap that we did earlier. Give it another second. That's enough. Turn the lid on. Let's take a quick look at that before I shake it up. Ah, you can see the density and viscosity of the syrup is much higher. So it's sunk to the bottom and the water sitting on the top. Let's give it a shake and see what happens. Wow, it's kind of bubbly looking. It looks like the color of the syrup has changed the color of the water, but we'll see what that looks like after I wait a few minutes. And I'll take a picture of that for you so you can sketch it. <laughs> 